Hi guys, this is Miss G, and I wanted to talk about uh, more of pop art. Here is an example of Roy Lichtenstein's artwork. In this video, I will show you how to create pop art in the style of comic book action words. So, what you see here in this picture combines many different art elements. You see lines, shapes, and definitely lots of color. You can also see that the words, the letters themselves, have a type of form to give a three-dimensional look to them by casting a shadow on one side of the letters. The letter P has this black shadow here to give the illusion of 3D form, as well as the O and the P. You also see space. This overlapping, where the P overlaps over the O, creates an illusion of space here, showing that the words are overlapping one another. You also have the shape in the very background that has consists of curvy lines, very nice organic shape, along with straight dynamic lines that kind of show that something is exploding in the background. I will demonstrate how to create an illustration a lot like these, this action word using any word you want. I'm going to use BAM, B A M, and you can use mom, or maybe I might use mom, and since it is uh, Mother's Day this weekend, this next weekend. So I think that would be a great gift for mom. So I'm going to make this disappear, and we will create our very own action word. I'm going to begin by creating the letter M. I'm going to choose my pencil and I've decided to go with the smaller point. So I'm going to make the letter M. Action words are used a lot in comic books to show, to give more meaning to the word and what the action that has taken place. So I'm going to start with an M. I'm going to create a thick line to create the shadow effect. And I can go with the medium. And I'm only doing this to one side of the letter. This will also create a more of an illusion of something popping out. That is why it's called pop art. So now I'm going to start with the letter O. I'm going to overlap it over or under the M. And I'm going to go with the thicker point to create, I'm going to try the bigger, to create a bigger, more dramatic shadow. Again, only on one side of the letter, just one side. Now I'm going to overlap the M underneath the O. I'm actually going to use a smaller. To create the illusion of space. I'm going to use the thicker marker option to create the shadow. So now you've made your letters more 3D. Next, we will make the explosion a visual to show that something is exploding in the background. So I will just create a, I'm going to use a thinner pen and I'm going to use diagonal lines. To go around to show something is exploding. 
So you're pretty much just doing a zigzag form all the way around. to show there's an explosion in the background. These work really well too, to show, to give more of an action into a comic book. So without drawing an actual picture of something exploding, then they would just put the action word and then the details in the background to give more an illusion of um, some type of drama happening in the comic book. All right, now I'm going to add a curvy line, just sort of like it as if there's smoke that's coming or happening in the background. And it'll also give it a variety of shapes to make this more chaotic. And that is just done by simple curvy lines. So you add another element. Art element is curvy lines. We're using as many art elements as possible. And I'm gonna go ahead and Do another curvy line to the background. Lots of dots, which creates a type of a pixelated image, is very popular with pop art. And we'll add that as well. And I'll show you how to do that. So there goes my smoke effect. Now I will add the dots. Now these dots will kind of give the appearance of something fading away. So, and they're very extremely popular in comic book strips and they look like little pixelated dots. And as you see, I'm making them disappear. So it's, I'd start large, so I make a larger one and then the size begins to shrink make sure so you're doing lots of arrays make sure that your lines are your dots are in some type of array to give it more of an organized look and it won't look so messy just start to get them smaller and smaller and smaller do the same thing on this end only i'm going to make this one a little bit bigger so there is a pattern going on here as well. And then I can create more on this end here. At the very bottom. I'm gonna make, start off with a very large dot and then make that one a tad bit smaller and smaller. This also creates an effect Either that something is moving or it's sort of shooting kind of like a, a rocket ship or something, but this is very popular in pop art. And so to create that style or that art style, then you kind of have to follow the same elements that they use. Make sure your dots are in a straight line. This would be a very cute gift for mom for Mother's Day since many of us know her as being a super mom or a superhero. I could even, even say grandma or, or your aunt and have it say her name instead, personalize it a little bit more. 
Now let's go ahead and add color. So I'm going to go back to my favorite tool. In pop art, they use a lot of primary colors, which is something you probably should have written on in your essay form. If you notice that I used a few primary colors in that illustration that I drew. But primary colors are very popular and even I believe Superman uses primary colors, red, yellow, and blue. Hit that backspace button. Okay, I'll have to erase that. I don't know what happened here. It's a mistake and that is okay. I'm just gonna erase this part here. Just trace it around. There we go. And what I like to do is make a different value, make it a darker value of red, and you can still add some more dots here. Make sure they're nice, nice rows. You don't want them random, you want them to keep the order. So it kind of creates this polka dot effect. Very popular for pop art. So make sure you're adding those dots. But as you notice, I'm doing them with a different value. So it's a nice red over another value of red. And if you are a collector of comic books, or maybe your dad is, you should, when you're done with this project, definitely show them this work. They'll be able to recognize what art artist inspired you. Again, his name is Roy Lichtenstein, sort of like Frankenstein. So instead of Frankenstein, his name is Lichtenstein. There we go. I'm going to go ahead and do the other one, the other end. Trace around it. There we go. And you can add your dots on top. So it'll look, give it more of a pixelated look. And you will do the same to the rest of your, your, your color. So we'll, if you color something yellow, then also add a different darker value of yellow with your dots. So overlap it with a different value. So value is another element that you will be able to recognize in pop art. You use a lot of the same values, just same red, but in different values. Now I'm gonna use another, primary color and I'm going to go with yellow and I'm going to choose my darkest trace around so it can make it pop. Use your Superman colors or you could say your primary colors. There we go. This tool is super easy. I love Sketches School. I use another app called uh, Procreate but they don't have this tool here, which helps you color faster. And I wish they did. Oops, that still looks good. You might keep that, but I'm going to hit the backspace button. That was an accident. Still can't figure out how that happens because when I want it to happen, I don't know how to do it. All right, so you're gonna trace all of this here. That's gonna be like my explosion. Now I'm going to do the smoke effect, but I'll do that maybe a blue. And then you have to kind of just trace around it one by one, one portion at a time. And I really like how it, there's a little slither of white around it. I'm fine with that because you actually find a lot of that in pop art where it's just, 
a nice small outline of white. Just adds more dimension. And inside this blue, I'm anxious to get this done because I can't wait for you to finish, see the finished product. But inside the blue, I will also add some more pixels or polka dots with a different value of blue. Because we have so much time at home, I think a lot of you guys should probably create maybe a comic book and it can even illustrate your experience now in quarantine. So I think that would be neat to look back at when this is all over. You have some type of nice um, piece of history and art and you can share that with your friends later. And adding our polka dots with a different value of blue. This does take time. Art is not something that you can get done in five minutes because you're never done. You've always just begun. The more details you add, the better your art becomes. And someone may look at this and say, hey, I want one with my name or my mom's name and you can start charging them and tell them okay well i charge this amount and start your your price points adding different values there now many of you are either doing this along with me or you're, you'll do this after the video is over. And some of you may find it just soothing just to watch a video of art. I find myself watching videos myself. And then I stop myself and think, I need to get to work and do art myself, not watch someone else make art. All right. Almost there. Make sure not to rush, because I can already tell my circles aren't getting a little bit sloppy. Doesn't that look cool, guys? Okay, so now I that white space in the middle, I want that maybe a different color. I'm gonna use orange. Uh, and just think of your, your favorite superhero, whether it's Thor, I mean, even Pokemon colors are beautiful too, but they all use these very nice, either primary or secondary colors because they're awesome colors to kind of combine together and make things pop. So I've added some orange there. I might even add the background with orange, but I'm not too sure yet. I don't want this video to be too long. And then don't forget the inside of, there you go. All right, so now I'm going to create an illusion that this is sort of, oh, that looks good, but it's not what I want it. I'm gonna add some diagonal lines here, all the way around. to make more of a dramatic effect. Or that too, <laughs> that just happened again, but I'm gonna keep it. So now I'm thinking, fine, it must be meant to be. So I'm going to add some, I'm going to add some lines here to kind of give this illusion that things are popping out. I'm sure you guys are experiencing the same thing with Sketches School, just these tools just pop out of nowhere. I'm not sure how I like that. 
Now I'm probably going to cover my dots there. Yep, I sure did. But I can always go back and redraw. Redraw my dots. Make these diagonal, these lines diagonal. To give more of, there you go, a dramatic shine. So these are sort of like rays of light that are shooting out. There we go. And I could just do this all day, guys. because this is just so relaxing to me and once i get started it's hard to stop there we go so you can always print this out give it to your mom for mother's day and she would just love it she can frame it possibly since it's digital if you're doing this digital um, then you can save it and she can print it on products like maybe a coffee mug or a t-shirt um, she can go to another website, different websites, and then have this printed on actual products and make it more of a personalized gift. And I will stop right there. So have fun with this pop art theme and um, make sure you're doing lots of sketching. It really helps with the brain and it helps with um, just using up time and making sure we are keeping busy. I will talk to you later. Make sure you're, you're doing your short essay on the other video um, on the artwork that I created inspired by Roy Lichtenstein. I want just a simple five sentence, four sentence essay on all the elements that you found in your artwork or in the artwork that I created. Again, art elements like values of color, lines, shapes, uh, primary colors, secondary colors, form, and uh, the illusion of space. All right, have a great day, and I can't wait to see your artwork.